Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Debsy and the place to be, it's Debsy. Bloop, that's me. Boop, Debsy. Hey guys and happy Friday. It is Friday, it is Friday, it is Friday. Mm. Although, no, what that was, mm. Although I'm filming this on Thursday. Now listen, if it's six o'clock in the morning when you're seeing this, then it is motivational mornings. Uh, I apologize, you did not get a motivational mornings on Thursday because Wednesday night, I have to tell you, I was so tired, I could not stop yawning. I would have been yawning through the entire thing. I was, I, I don't know why I didn't do like a ton on Wednesday. Um, I napped a lot. <laughs> I napped a lot. So I don't know. I was, I was so dead tired. I could just barely make it through like a sentence without yawning. So I apologize, but here I am on Monday, on Monday, <laughs> on Friday, and it is motivational mornings. It is, listen, it is, it is morning. Why do I keep saying it's morning? Yes, it is morning when you're saying this. It is Friday. It is payday. It is when you're watching this, two days to my birthday. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so let's get into it. The motivational a morning quote is, it's Friday related, of course. It's from D.S. Mixel. And he says, every morning I like to high five myself, or every morning, let's start over. Every Friday, I like to high five myself for getting through another week on a little more than caffeine, willpower, and inappropriate humor. And that's exactly, that is exactly correct. I agree with you, DS Mixel. Um, usually for me, it is um, more of caffeine and inappropriate humor, if anything else. Okay, I'm also gonna give you the quote. What do I keep seeing with this hair over here? Okay, so I'm also going to give you the quote that I had for Thursday, and that was from Eleanor Roosevelt, and it is, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. So, the only one that can really make you feel inferior is yourself or someone else if you let them feel that way. Don't let them make you feel that way. You are good enough and you are, you are superior. You are a superior human being. Okay, so I do not have any pop culture facts, like what happened on this day in pop culture history. However, I'm gonna give you six, I'm going to give you six um, facts since I did not do a video on Thursday. Okay, so fact number one, octopuses, uh, octopus have, I did say octopuses? That would be it, that, doesn't, that sounds nasty. I like how that sounds. So octopus, have three hearts and their blood is blue. Number two, the largest snowflake on record measured 15 inches across and eight inches thick. And it was found in Montana. That was all the way back in like 1887. How about that? And the longest wedding veil, it was not, you might be thinking Princess Diana, no. Although that was long, the longest wedding veil was longer than 63 and a half football fields. It was nearly 23,000 feet long and it was in Cyprus. It, it, um, came, it came to be, it came to be in Cyprus. It was in Cyprus. Okay. Oh, would you be surprised to hear that one of the co-inventors of the cotton candy machine was actually a dentist? Well, he was. Dr. William Morris was a dentist and Dolly was like, hmm, why? I wonder why. Well, listen, just like if you watch, um, what is it? If you watch Parks and Rec, Jeremy Jam, you know, he loves, he loves for um, his, his patients to um, drink and eat Sweetums because more cavities. Okay. Um, also, bees, in order for a bee to make a pound of honey, they have to visit around 2 million flowers just to get a pound of honey. And lastly, I thought this was adorable because 
I love penguins. Penguins after dogs. Penguins are probably my second favorite um, animal after a dog. So penguins propose. Penguins propose. Penguins propose. It's. I wrote penguins propose with penguins. Penguins propose with stones, and it's the male Gen 2 penguins. So what they'll do is a penguin, a Gen 2, a male Gen 2 penguin will find a single female Gen 2 penguin and will place a stone at their feet. And if the female penguin is interested and is impressed, then she'll do the same thing to him. And it'll go back and forth until a nest is built. So this is their way of starting, of building a nest so they can start a family. I love that. I, I do. I think that's so sweet. I love penguins. Okay. So for today's birthdays, we have born in 1973, Juliette Lewis. She's an actress. She's 51. You know her from um, Cape Fear with Robert De Niro. She got an Oscar nomination for that. She was in um, what? 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 She was in What's Eating Gilbert Grape with um, Johnny Depp and Leonardo and Little and Leonardo DiCaprio, a young Leonardo DiCaprio, and also was in Natural Born Killers. She dated um, Brad Pitt for a while. And she was also, she was born into Scientology, but thankfully she distanced, her, she distanced herself in 2021. Um, born in 1979 is Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt is Chris Pratt, is Chris Pratt, he's 45. Um, it doesn't matter to me how many movies he's in, like he's in Guardian of the Galaxy, um, I don't remember, I don't know what else he was in, what was he in? He was in Jurassic World. He was in, was that what it was? He will always be um, Andy Dwyer from Parks and Rec. That's all, always. And also born in 1985 and turning 39 is Alana, is musician Alana Del Rey, born Elizabeth Woodridge Grant. She, her name change was, was somewhat inspired by Lana Turner. Um, and she liked the name Lana Del Rey because she would, she spent, she would spend a lot of time in Florida and she thought that Lana Del Rey sounded like and reminded her of like glamour by the seaside, Lana Del Rey. And I agree. Now, listen, I'm also going to give a shout out. He's not going to watch this. He doesn't know about this, but celebrating, he celebrated a birthday on Thursday and that is, oh, he's born in 1960. He is one of the co-founders of my favorite band of all time. Celebrating his 64th birthday, Mr. John Taylor from Birmingham, England. Listen, he founded Duran Duran with their keyboardist, Nick Rhodes, who celebrated a birthday on June 8th, who turned 62. And listen, I'm going to tell you what. Con don't don't come for me. This is my opinion. Honestly, I think John Taylor is one of the most underrated, most brilliant bass guitarists of all time. Go out there and listen to the beginning of like Hungry Like a Wolf or um, Girls on Film or Planet Earth. He is a great, great bassist. The, listen, he's passed over. When you see these lists of great bassists throughout history, they always talk about like bassists for heavy metal bands or rock bands. I'm telling you, John Taylor is a bass god. And he did this, he did this series. It was during the pandemic. It was during 2020. He had... He had contracted um, the, you know, I'm not going to say what it is in case, in case YouTube doesn't like us saying it, but I'll say the beer that cannot be named. And he, um, he did this thing though, where it was a series where he, it was from his home and he broke, he would go in and he would break down some of his most iconic bass lines 
and he would play it and then he would interview people like I believe other musicians like he had um I believe he had Niles Niles Rogers which now Rogers is like is like just an unofficial an unofficial member of Duran Duran he had um he had Suzanne Hoffs from the Bangles he had Billy Idol it was fantastic. It was a phenomenal series that he had. I believe it was on, um, I, it might've been on Instagram. It was, it was highly, I would like, it, it, highly recommend it. I don't think you can still watch, I don't think you can watch it, but yes, con congratulations. Congratulations, John Taylor. Um, and his book, I cannot remember when his book is called. I read it a few years ago. Very good. Um, he has been he's been sober for decades. Um, John Taylor, yesterday turned 64. And what was I gonna say? Congratulations again. Happy birthday, happy birthday, to John Taylor, to Juliet Lewis, to Chris Pratt, to Lana Del Rey. And actually, also. We'll say on Thursday. Okay, on Thursday, this is a late one. Born in 1942, Brian Wilson um, from the Beach Boys. He celebrated his 82nd birthday. I thought this was interesting about Brian Wilson, but when the Beatles came over, um, they, you know, were wildly popular. Of course, everybody knows that. And I had read that the Beatles, the success of the Beatles shook him up like so much because he saw that maybe their reign as the number one vocal group in America was going to be challenged. So he wrote the song, I Get Around, which was their first number one hit. He wrote that in response to the British invasion. And that was really the start of the rivalry between, between him and the Beatles and more specifically between him and and Paul McCartney. Um, also born in 1949 was Lionel Richie. He was just here this past weekend in Pittsburgh with um, Earth, Wind and Fire on tour. He turned 75, born in 1952. John Goodman, you know from everybody. I know him from um, Ro Roseanne and now the Connors. I don't watch the Connors, but I did watch Roseanne. He's 72 and born in 1967, Nicole Kidman. She turned 57 on Thursday. A lot of people think that she was born in Australia. She actually was not. She was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, while her parents were there on student visas. So, I mean, but she then, they then went back to Australia. So there we go. So happy birthday to everybody, and especially Mr. John Taylor, and very, 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 very belated birthday from June 8th to Nick Rhodes. Nick Rhodes was... Nick Rhodes is my favorite from the band. Well, at first it was Simon a little bit, and then it was Nick. Okay, so <laughs> with that being said, listen, it's Friday. We got it. We got this all. We can do it. You got it, and you can do it. It's my last day of my vacation. I'm not liking that at all. Okay, so listen, if nobody told you yet today, you are loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there in the world. So it comes right back at you. Please take care of one another. Happy first day of summer. That was yesterday. That was Thursday. So happy first day of summer. Everybody listen, please be aware of your surroundings. Number two, please stay safe. Number three, if you're anywhere where it is extremely hot, like extremely hot, please, be safe. If you don't go outside, you don't have to. But if you have to, please stay hydrated. Drink water often. So I will see you guys tomorrow and Saturday. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.